Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here from Harmony Music. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you several different drumstick grips so that you can find the perfect grip for your playing. Just before I get stuck into showing you these different types of grips, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon to keep up to date with future lessons from myself and the other guys, and also hit that like button. It all helps support us carry on giving you free lessons and content. Within this lesson, there's two main grips, and then within one of the grips, there's three different types of grips that you can choose from. It all sounds very confusing, but it will make a lot more sense as we get on. So let me show you the first grip. The first grip that I'm going to show you is known as traditional grip. One stick like this, palms facing down and knuckles facing up like that. Now the other stick goes completely different you put the stick between your third and second finger, push it up and then through your thumb like that and this stick goes like that. Generally, this stick hits softer hits. However, some of the best drummers in the world use these and they can get some pretty powerful hits at the same time. The reason this stick style populated is because Marching drummers within the army used their snare drum and they carried it on their sides like this. So naturally, this stick would land perfectly in line with the drum. Now imagine if I was holding the stick the same way that the other one would be. To be able to get it like that, I've got to twist my wrist and pull my arm around to be able to get to the drum. And this one lands naturally. So therefore, they would use the sticks like this on the drum. A lot of jazz drummers swear by this grip technique and it is an amazing technique if you can get used to it. Here's a demonstration of me just playing some single stroke 16ths with this type of grip. Listen to how the left hand is slightly softer than the right hand. Notice that the right hand has a lot more powerful hits within it. So therefore, this one's really good for accenting. This one's really good for bouncing and creating ghost notes. The next grip that I'm going to show you is known as match grip. Match grip is when both of your hands are doing the exact same thing. Now within match grip, there are three subgrips. German grip, French grip, and American grip. There are also other grips, but they're the main ones. German grip is when both of your hands, best way I can explain it, palms down, facing the ground, knuckles facing right up to the sky, and your forearms straight forward with no bends in your wrists or twists. So knuckles straight up. If you bring your sticks together onto the snare, and bring them right into the center, bring them up, they end up creating a 90 degree angle. So they're going into the snare between each other at 90 degree angle. And this is probably the most powerful, in my opinion, type of grip. It, you can get a really hard hit out of this. Here's a demonstration of me playing some 16ths in German grip. See how the hits are very powerful on both hands. The next grip that I want to show you is French grip. Now French grip, if you take German grip and you just turn your wrists so that your thumbs are now facing up as opposed to your knuckles. This is known as French grip. What this does is this brings the angle in so that your sticks are coming out from more or less in front of you like this. French grip doesn't give as much power, in my opinion, as German grip. However, one thing that I find it works really good on, especially for myself, is using your fingers within drumming, so bouncing with your fingers. So I find you can get some fairly fast hits with French grip. Power-wise, just a little bit less than German grip. Here's a demonstration of some 16ths in French grip.
And finally, the next grip that I want to show you is known as American grip. And it's basically directly in between German grip and French grip. So you imagine kind of going in between where we know German grip's got like this 90 degree angle sort of thing with the sticks here. French grip straight. American grip's gonna have this kind of 45 degree angle instead. Your, your thumbs are kind of not facing up, but your knuckles aren't either. So they're kind of going slightly diagonal. I'd say this is the most used type of grip uh, within drumming nowadays anyway because it works in between everything else. So here's a demonstration of some 16th notes in American grip. So which one of these grips is the perfect grip to use? The answer to that is all of them. Using the right grip in the right place at the right time. If you watch loads of different drummers, you'll see that they actually end up switching between all these different types of grips. If I was playing a big heavy rock song and I was laying into the hi-hats, I'd 100% German grip like this and I'd move this hand over to the hi-hats. The stick lands naturally above the hi-hat, this hand lands naturally above the snare and as I mentioned, for me personally, I can get the most powerful hit by using German grip. If I was going to the ride cymbal, I'd switch to French grip so that I can get those bounces and also switching to the ride cymbal in German grip means that I'd have to pull my elbow all the way around here. So the answer to that question is the ones that work best for you. You'll have a main grip that you prefer. Let me know in the comments below which of these grips is your preferred grip and why it's your preferred grip. I hope this lesson has been helpful to you and I'll catch you in the next lesson.